everyone, welcome back to Pigeons Rock. So I know the elephant in the room here. I've had the same question over and over again. Everyone's asking me what happened to the birds. And I know it was kind of a cliffhanger. So uh, now you're getting your answer. Initially, I think we had four come back in the video. Within 24 hours, there were 10 back and within 36 to 48 hours there were another two so all in all we lost nine birds i have no idea where they went they were completely flocked up when i released them it was only one and a half miles away a lot of you guys were commenting about not feeding them before i released them and i hadn't fed them for over 24 hours so they were very hungry i i have my theories on what might have happened maybe a hawk um, maybe I released them too late in the day. It was closer to sunset than I would have liked. The past few weeks I've been driving downtown a lot and every once in a while I'll see two or three white birds sitting next to each other with a big flock and I'll think maybe those are my birds and if they decided to live in the city that's completely okay with me. They always have a home if they want to come back but I think that's one of the cool things about keeping pigeons is you can have birds leave and that doesn't necessarily mean they died. It just, it might mean they want a different life. All right, so here's the thing. We lost the birds, it's tough. They might come back someday. They might be living downtown, I don't know. But I'm gonna learn from it, I'm gonna move on. So the other thing is, it is now March 10th, which means it is well into breeding season and I am late to the game. I have noticed all the birds are super active. They're doing mating dances. They're going nuts for each other and Big announcement, today's the day I'm gonna start breeding. All right, so the agenda for today, I got a bunch of supplies that just came in. We're gonna be installing nest boxes in the loft so the birds can start breeding because they really wanna start breeding. All right, first up, nest boxes. Just want to take a moment to thank Milk Crates Direct. This is not sponsored, but they sell great milk crates and they got them here pretty quickly. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're starting with six milk crates. That's gonna give us six nests. I'm thinking they're gonna be large enough. I'm hoping they're gonna be large enough. Man, I thought they'd be bigger than this. No, that should be good. I don't know. Next up, I got hay. This is just gonna give them something to make their nests out of. A little material to keep the eggs warm. And lastly, nest bowls. So these are just plastic bowls and they'll be able to put the hay in there and that's where the eggs will go. So here's one of the milk crates and there's a nest bowl. So it barely fits, it fits in there. However, if we turn it, man, I thought these things were bigger. I really did. We're gonna make it work, I don't care. These are gonna be fine for now. This is my first breeding season. I cannot wait to have little itty bitty squabs just squeaking away in there. <sighs> this is so tough to decide. All right, stand by. I'm gonna make a decision and I'll get back to you. So I went back and forth here between doing this and doing that, but this, just not enough room. I don't like this, there's no lip here. There's hardly any foot space. If I want the biggest footprint, this has to be the floor. So, we're doing that, which means we gotta cut. I brought the saws all though. Wow. <laughs> all right, <laughs> there you have it. That's the first one. It's not perfect. I was kind of surprised by how easy it cut it, but we'll do five more and we'll throw these babies in there. All 
All right, so we got all the nest boxes cut out. Now we have to get rid of some of the perches to make space for the boxes. Remember how many times I said I should have put a spring on this door? Well, I didn't and the wind literally blew it off the hinges. So that's wonderful. All right, so I've marked up all the spots I wanna bolt the nest boxes into. I put two dots on each area. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill holes in these spots so that way I can put two bolts through the top of the nest boxes and then I can bolt them right in with a nut and tighten them and then they'll be secured right there. Got that bolt. That should work. We got a bag of hardware here. So what we're gonna do is take four washers, two bolts, and two nuts. And that will be good for one nest box. Okay, so I'm gonna try to do this while I'm recording. Yeah, that's gonna work. All right, so we're gonna take the nest box, put the washer on the bolt, and put that in. Take another washer. Put it on the bolt, put that in, and just like that, the nest box is supporting its own weight. <laughs> that is beautiful. All right, so what we gotta do now, we gotta go around the back side and use the two nuts to tighten it. Uh, little announcement, by the way, little impromptu announcement. Get it, Smidge. Get it, buddy. Um, Smidge has a wife. I know the running joke here has been that, oh, Smidge, not on camera. Smidgen fell in love with a Danish high flyer, so he's dating a Danish girl. It's incredible. So here's the two bolts sticking out. So I'm gonna put washers on these to distribute the pressure. And then we just thread the nuts on. These bolts were way too long. I don't know why I thought they needed to be that long. And that's sitting perfectly. I'm pretty happy with that. Honestly, I, I think this is gonna work pretty well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the other five bolted on and we'll be done. So we're all finished up here. We got six nest boxes installed. They each have a bowl in them, and I threw in a little bit of hay in each box so they would have something to build a nest bedding out of. I also put some hay on the floor in a few locations just so they can have plenty of stuff to build their nest. I really like where the nests are. They feel really secure. Albeit it is a bit cramped in the loft now, but there's a small price to pay for new birds. All right, so we're gonna end there. We got six new nest boxes in the loft, and I think the birds are gonna be inhabiting those pretty soon. I'm very excited to have youngsters. So if you guys have any tips or advice on anything I'm currently doing with the nest boxes and the breeding, I'm totally open to hearing it. This is my first time doing it. This was just kind of inspired by some ideas I got online. So hopefully it goes well. I'll be checking in with you guys soon. Thank you for watching Pigeons Rock and I hope you guys have a great day. Ooh.